So we're going to continue with the spirit of interaction, and we have a question that came through the app that we're going to answer, so I'll pose it, and then we'll go through it. So once a patient, and this is uh, regarding HS, um, once a patient is controlled with Humira for HS and would like to have surgical removal of the diseased skin, would you consider Humira during the surgical and healing phases? Question. Then the second part is, would you also consider adding an oral antibiotic therapy to help prevent post-surgical infection? Yes. And yes. Yes, <laughs> yes and yes. That, that's yes. A, a, lot of, a lot of layers in that one, right? So um, you got them under control with adalimumab, that's good. Um, and you know, if it's really resistant disease, it's all scarred up, I think, Having surgery, you know, if it's axillae, is probably not a bad idea. The real question is having access to plastic surgeons that actually have experience doing it, because sometimes they're taking too small an area, they're not going wide enough, you know, they have issues with closing or secondary intention. So I, I think keeping them on the drug probably makes sense, and these areas are very prone to moisture and infection. I don't think anyone would have an issue with uh, an antibiotic at that time. Yeah, and I think most surgical procedures actually, uh, with the exception of surgical procedures that penetrate the GI tract or the GU tract, pretty much everything else you can continue the biologic um, per the National Psoriasis Foundation guidelines. And I think in this case too, as HS, uh, because it doesn't increase the risk of serious infections, um, you still might want to check with a surgeon, and surgeons may, may be different, and some surgeons will have no idea what the medication is on. So usually I say, I, I don't think we need to discontinue the biologic. You know, there are NPF guidelines that just say per NPF guidelines, you know, just want to make sure that's okay with you or if you have a different suggestion. In most of the cases, they, they, they agree with you. Yeah, I think that the key to the question was this patient was treated and controlled because you've got to dampen out and quiet the area, reduce inflammation, and then you have a quiet area with scarring that will be excised and then eradicate the sinus tracts. Because unfortunately, some people believe that surgery is a treatment for HS. Well, that it's not and it can actually just come, recur and come right back. So the key is to control the disease and then um, have a relationship if you can, if you see a lot of HS patients with either a general surgeon or plastic surgeon that's familiar with the disease um, that you can work with. And they'll oftentimes end up sending you patients because they'll present to them primarily or get referred to them. You'll get them under control with the biologic, then uh, they can do the surgeries. 